Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about a gift I received last night. So I'm really excited about this and I'm trying to get it recorded, edited and out. A couple weeks ago, I traded in some stuff at a camera store. I swapped cameras, I swapped some lenses. While I was at the camera store, I started kind of looking at some of the film cameras. You know, I've been paying attention to uh, photography YouTube and I see there's, there's plenty of film channels that I've been following for a while now grainy days, overexposed, you know, there's, there's several. When I was looking at these film cameras, the real reason is I have this like nagging question mark in my head. So this, this nagging question is in my mind, right? I, I'm like, am I doing well? Or is the um, processing of the camera helping me more than I realize? So I, you know, I was thinking about these cameras and I was like, God, where do I even go in that rabbit hole? And then I remembered my father-in-law showing me his 35 millimeter a while back. I reached out to him and asked him if I could borrow his camera. And he said, sure. So when I arrived to his place, he had all of this stuff out. And I say all of this stuff because it really is a lot of stuff. He, he really went all in when he decided to make this purchase. As I started to unpack it, I was just immediately blown away. I was blown away because I'm looking at this old Asahi Pentax Spotmatic version two, and I'm looking at it and I think, wow, that looks very familiar to another device that I own. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't know if Fujifilm was looking at this or if most cameras back then had a similar design, but the design language is very interesting to me. I, even the top dials are very familiar to me. Um, something, you know, I think I found really interesting was this little pull up spin for the, for the ISO. Like I thought Fujifilm cleverly designed this and this thing is from the sixties. This, this has been around forever. So what I'm reading on, on this webpage I found is, uh, Asahi and Pentax, Asahi Pentax, they, they essentially nailed this out of the gate, kept the same design and same features over the next 30 years before it was discontinued in the late nineties. This is like a pretty classic camera. So I'm excited to give it a try. And, uh, I'm going to show you some of the accessories I'm, I got with it. Something else I should point out. This uses the M42 screw in mount which there are adapters for, for my Fujifilm system. So no matter what happens with film photography, no matter what happens after I take some photos and go through the process of processing and getting them back and spending the money to see my photos, you know, I don't know where that will go. I'm not here to make some sort of grand declaration that I'm going to only shoot film for a year or any of that. But all of these lenses that I got, I can use on my Fujifilm. What I got was this, Asahi Spotmatic, um, Asahi Pentax uh, Spotmatic 2. I've actually seen similar cameras. In fact, in this article I'm reading, it says Honeywell Pentax. So I'm not exactly sure what that's about. Uh, some really interesting features right out of the, you know, without even loading film on it. It has a built-in spot meter. So this camera was designed to help amateurs figure out uh, their exposure. And I tested it out last night and it's this manual, uh, I should say analog, uh, little needle in the right side. It shows you if your exposure is right or not. So you, you kind of want to get it in the middle, not too high, not too low. So as you adjust your f-stop, as you adjust your shutter speed, the needle goes down or up as depending on where you're spotting, you know, right in the center as a circle. Um, beautiful stuff. So. One of my fears of doing film photography was getting the exposure wrong, and this will assist me with that. I still expect to get exposure wrong because I think in that regard, digital does really help me. You know, I, I kind of go nuts with the dark, and uh, a lot of people have noted that my photos are really dark, and I, I like that dark look, uh, but I get away with a lot because there's so much information in the RAW file that I can pull back and bring up some shadow. So I'm, I'm curious how, how I'll underexpose with film. We'll see. Anyway, okay, so that's um, the camera. And then he also had some other accessories, including this Vivitar uh, 28 millimeter lens. I think it's really funny that the silica gel is still in here. That's, I, I'm keeping it there because I, I just think it's really funny. Uh, so this is a uh, 28 millimeter 2.5. 
Um, really solid build quality, great size. I love this size lens, so this is definitely going to be used. This 50 millimeter 1.4 is the lens that actually came with the camera. And um, everything I've read is, this is a great lens as well. So a 50 millimeter, a 35 or a 28 millimeter, I can't wait to try them out. And then the last one, the last lens is a zoom. And it is 85 to 205. This thing feels like a tank. I mean, it is all metal. It is incredibly well built. It's, I don't know if he ever even used this. I, I'm, I'm not like throwing shade or anything. I just, I'm wondering if he even ever took this out of its case because there is not a scratch on this thing. It is beautiful. It is also made by Vivitar. Um, so, you know, I have this great zoom lens, a 28 millimeter, a 50 millimeter. And then he also got these adapters, which there's three of them screwed together. And so you can see on them one, two, and three. And that one, two, and three represents the level of macro I can do. So I can put these adapters adapt to the lenses and I can do macro photography. So kind of curious about trying that because I don't actually own any macro lenses. I, I've, I've wanted to try it. The only, the only camera I have that does real good macro is my iPhone. So, <laughs> so that's, that's something I want to try out. Then he also gave me this flash. I mean, what he had in this bag here, look at I me. Mean, first of all, look at this bag. This camera bag is beautiful. You, like I've been looking for a leather camera bag for I don't even know how long and one just dropped into my lap so in here was all of this stuff including this really cool looking flash I don't even own a flash so this will be fun to try out and see if it works uh, it has a plug so I can plug it into the wall there's a couple more cables in there that are unknown to him unknown to me I'll, I'll kind of figure it out as I go but the, the last thing that was in this bag that I think is really nice is this little tripod here. Um, it's made by a company called Bellora, made in Germany. Um, look at these brass, <laughs> really lightweight, but somehow sturdy, like a, just a great style, small tripod. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to trying that out. Some more cables and then of course, the original manual, <laughs> which I'm gonna have to read because there's definitely some parts on here I'm not familiar with. And then, you know, some, some other really cool trinkets from the time, Kodak Master Photo Guide. So definitely gonna give that a look. So clearly I'm excited. I'm uh, rambling a bit. I'll figure out a way to put it together. The biggest thing I'm going to do, and one of the reasons you might wanna subscribe because this is gonna take the bulk of my <laughs> attention I'm gonna run out and get some film for this. And then I'm going to take a tripod and set up shots with my uh, 35 millimeter 1.4 on my crop sensor Fujifilm and take the shot the way I think I would take it. Then put this in the exact same tripod position, you know, mount my uh, quick release plate to it, set everything exactly the same, and take a photo. <laughs> and we'll see if I'm actually doing something great with my Fujifilm or Fujifilm's doing something great for me? The big question will be answered for me. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I realize that my first uh, roll of film is probably gonna be garbage and I accept that. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to wasting a roll of film and learning what I did wrong. I'll also take a notebook with me and write down all my settings because you know, I wanna take this seriously. I wanna, I wanna get it right. All right, so. That is my very excited video about a gift I received last night. Oh, that was the other thing. Instead of letting me borrow it, he just he just gave me all of this stuff. So I'm, I'm very thankful, very appreciative. I feel very uh, privileged to, to have gotten this gift from him. So Tom, if you're watching, thank you very much for the camera. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.